Okay, okay. Welcome. Welcome on back. Let's let's continue. Okay, okay. I think I think we need to go through here. Sounds like this is the way the voice. Is. Uh, hey. Oh, this guy's a robot. He's a robot. Um. Okay. What's up? What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you human? Shit! Did, did my body give it away? I try hard saying a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? My name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Uh, uh, you know, that makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Um, hold on. He thinks he's human. He sees me... Hold on. Hold on. Um. Um. Am I human? Did. Did I. Did, what did those doctors do to me? Um. Yo, that would be really fucky if they had me sit in that chair. They knocked me out, and then they just, like, harvested my consciousness, and, like, my my fleshy biological body went on its way, and they just had, like, a copy of my brain that they just, like, copied and downloaded and stuff. Is that? Okay, okay. Um, okay. Oh, you so, talking shit now? Where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See you waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You really hung up on appearances. You know that? You're so superficial. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clay memory. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know? Did you maybe get trapped uh, in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but... Nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. You're um... entirely out of the picture. Hmm. Mm. I I see I see you glitchy screen effect. Who can help. I get it. I understand. Okay. Um, I I feel like I might. What's wrong with your everything? Are you diving in sewage or something? Hello, can you? Hello, can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Um... 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 I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Um... Just 
Get me a doctor. Just a little bit of robot torture as a, as a treat. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh boy. Oh, please tell me I don't have to flip that switch and then go hit something. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, there's other things I can... Okay. Is that a human body? We have a human. Gas. Oh god, he's dead? He's dead. Was that guy Carl? Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Oh. Carl! Carl? That kills you! <laughs> Oh, I laugh because I'm scared. But what if I really want to go in there? What if I really want to go in there? What if I really, really, really want to go in there? Oh, fuck. 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 Alright, alright, what's up here? What do we got? Hey, you know, there's another yellow door to explore. This is no story. We got oh workshop. Right, what's over here? Please reboot the workstation. All right. Nope, that's not it. What's this thing? How dare you? You monster. Was this... Hold on, was, was this that scene, but from the thing that killed Carl's point of view? Too busy kissing my pants. It's an accomplishment because I don't actually own any pants. I guess we gotta go up the other stairway. Please, no, please, nothing be up there. Please, nothing be up here. Don't fuck it up. Carl was not my fault. Huh. If I open this and a bunch of water comes out, I'm gonna be annoyed. Just 
seal myself in here. This is this is a nice safe, nice safe little closet. Nothing can hurt me in here. Yep, just me and my nice cozy little space. I can plenty plenty of area to just like lie against the wall. You know, nothing can hurt me in here. It's just comfy. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna have to flip that switch, aren't I? I feel like my vision is getting a little bit more scrambled. Either that or my stigmatism is getting worse all of a sudden. It feels a little more blurry. Please tell Amy! I need help! Won't a mechanic make more sense? You're trying to be fucking funny! But you're a robot! Really? Do robots have legs? Hands? A face? You're delusional! Okay, calm down. I, I won't- Get some fucking help! Damn, dude. Alright. I really, 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 really would not- Would like to not have to flip that switch again. Um... So there's the workshop. I think the only thing I can do is flip. Oh, hold on. All right, there's some computer screens. Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. I. Mm. I think we need to use Carl's login. Uh, let me check his his card. Zero seven two two. All right. I mean, it's not like I'm claiming his taxes or anything. All right. Let's see. Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factory to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. Send. Mail could not be sent. I see. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communications center. Oh, that's the switch I flipped. That tortured him. And I can't log in. Oh, no. Don't make me flip it. Please. No, oh, okay. Okay, storage and flow control. Okay, so I can check those out. All right, let me back out of this and get a power manager. So storage and flow control you can now access. Uh, let's see if this has anything different. All right, it does look a little bit different with that log. 2103. I'm pretty sure we started the game in like 2015. So there's been a couple years between we went in for our hospital visit. Okay. So this is storage. Why is it so dark? We set power to it.
neuroimaging platine RFID implants. The black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. Do you mind facility? Jeez. Pathos warden units. The station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the auto injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Okay. I guess I can't inject it. Just inject it directly into your brain stem. <laughs> no, no problems with that. Watch there be like a hidden timer and like the facility implodes if I don't fucking uh, beat the game fast enough. Alright, and then the other thing I opened was flow control. So, I hope flow control was... Yes, this was flow control. Hell yeah. Alright, so we can disable this without torturing the other robot. You strain the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Um. Boop. Uh. Ah. Um. Okay. No, 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 Carl, you're on your own. You're on your own, Carl. You're on your own, Carl. No, open, open. Fuck, I have to go that way. Shit. Um. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um. Okay. 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 Okay, we just go. We just go. We just get in, hit the computer, and we get out. We get in, we hit the computer, and we go out. Oh shit, I had other logins. I could have checked. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Where did the robot go? Can I trap it in one of the rooms? Can I trap it? Shit, is Carl dead? Carl. Carl. Speak Carl. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? Where do I go? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh, shit. All right. Well, I needed I needed the power, so but that one door is also closed. Fuck. I mean, yeah, it walked into one of the rooms, but I couldn't close it.
Um. Hey, buddy, what's your mind? Thanks. I really don't want to have to go all the way back around. Zero, seven, three, five. Cool. Okay, he's going over there. Back. Log out. Okay, I think he's sticking to over there, so we should be safe. All right, cut this through it. Unfortunately, there's no universal kill switch. Seeing how we can't return to Upsilon, try sealing off the sectors. Okay, that is the machines are getting worse. We tried to come up with ways to help out the insane amount of units. The Upsilon is not looking good. Seriously, we're worried. Okay, 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 okay. Bye. Okay. Status. Well, that's no different. Um, event log, no different. Power output, no different. No different. No, okay, I don't know what I, I don't know what I fucking expected. I don't know what I expected. Okay, let's wait for it to fuck off down the tunnel, and then um, we can go up to comms. Ooh, I can touch this. Boop. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay. All right, comms. See ya, sucker. Store files. Yes, please. All right, let's go oldest to newest. So that's gonna be top to bottom. Jersey has an air come along. We got everything we need to move, but we can't leave the plant without supervision. Adams decided to leave Amy, Asaru, and Kalsanka to execute the automatization process. And I bet they're thrilled about it. I just wanted to let you know we're on schedule, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, I'll pass on the mole check. Okay, next day. It will do. I wanted to introduce you to Amy and Co. They'll be doing the talking as soon as I leave for Theta. Say hello. Hey, Theta. Hello. Hey, guys. I'm Peter Strauss, doing dispatcher at Theta. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Johnson. Have a safe trip. All right, next day. Hey. Hello, Theta. Absalon. What's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, site service engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center. And if you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I, I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Got you later. And then a Hello? few days later. Peter, was it? I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on. What's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yep. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. Okay. Um, before I touch the thing, let's see... Manual input required. Um, let's see, theta was 1, 5. No, that's... <laughs> 2202. I see. Hold on. 153. So 2202. 
Wait, what? Alright, maybe I'm wrong. Close. Alright, what you got for me, Theta? Hello? Stoss? Hello? Oh, okay. So, this haunts me, so let's- Oh, right! Lambda! Duh. 2203. Lambda is where that one person was talking from. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning... All of them are crazy. Uh, but I'm sane. Well... You know... Robots don't feel anything, so... Um... Okay, yeah. Catherine. Rude. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are several trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Shit. 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 Where do I... Where should I... Oh. Um... I wonder what, if I touched the thing, it would have taken the power, I think. I wonder what would have happened. Did I get a game over? Nope, nope, I'm still around. I'm just underwater. What? What the hell? How is this possible? Mm. This is insane! Mm. Mm. Uh, why? Mm. Did we just have a chunk of time pass? What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Let's see what answers await us. All right. Whee!
I guess we just climb our way to the other place. Under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> I did <I> fine. <laughs> All right. Land, find the shuttle to land. I feel like there's plenty of water around at the moment, but okay. <laughs> I see you found the uh, the new redeem, Aurora. I feel like this is that thing that wouldn't open last time. Yeah, I don't really have uh, the Little Mermaid here or uh, under the sea. Alright, this looks like a, like, landing pad. Ambiance. It's very good. Jellyfish or a light? Is that is that a robot? Hmm. Please don't be a robot. Please be friendly. I might be breaking everything considering I think the power is now fucked. Ooh, look at that fish. Alright. Mm -hmm. So nice of them to have all these lights that detect this as. Not friendly, not friendly. Nope, 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 nope. Unsubscribe, unfollow, block, report. According you to the mods, 
reporting you to your mom, reporting you to the FBI. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. No, I don't. We're going to sneak around because fuck this. Oh, boy. Okay. Good thing we don't have to do nautical navigation, because I sure as shit don't know um, my left from my up. Ypsilon Bravo. Hey, buddy. There you go. You a helper bot? I think you are. Is there anything over here? Nothing. Wee! Come on, little guy. Let's go on an adventure. Salon Bravo. Oh, now it's opening up. Fuck me. That was kind of the way that we already came from, so let's go this way? Perhaps? What do we got? this Warby thing? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like there's a puzzle I need to solve. Oh, shit. Let's stay away from that. Is there anything under here? No? No? I guess not. Okay, so there's the orb. Thingamabob. I hope I don't have to feed my little guy to the to the dude that was chasing me down. Got some deep sea digging going on. Quab. Who's your quab? Let's see what happens if we bring our little guy to the deranged dude. Look like he's interacting with my little guy. All right, maybe I take my little guy to the other direction. Hmm. Hmm. 
You said it, little guy. Alright, clearly this was the wrong direction. I'm gonna go back back over to that other place. Good thing I can't run out of breath as a robot. This would be exhausting otherwise. Whoops. Stuck on something. Alright. I feel like I may have accidentally skipped something. What's with this red tower? That's not good. Now here's shuttle station Ypsilon, but I need to get to... Oh hell yeah, little guy's got a fucking torch. Crack that safe open. I'll cover you. Yeah, Simon. Where did you get a flashlight? Hmm. Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now, Jackie? I'm at the shuttle, but it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you! Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. Okay, we're at Upsilon. We want to get the Lambda. I feel like we're going to find Azurio. You know, we found Carl dead at the last one. picture of our little guy and it looks like uh, some Ikea how to build a little guy perhaps Epsilon Theta departure day I don't know the comet Telos tr crashed in the Pacific Ocean Largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. Largest loss was the weathering comm station located on the surface. Platform only 
Mega, which is under the circumstances, has to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2, and ultimately Mankind. More on the matter will follow. Oh! Oh, so we just casually had an extinction event. Alright, that's, that's cool. That's fine. That's fantastic. Alright. I guess that's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick a fence, big family, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I feel like we're like three for three on Friday games having um, an apocalypse event. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They've all been like completely different genres, completely different video games, and it always always comes down to the apocalypse. So maybe I'm gonna have to manually run down the tunnel. Okay. Um, before I do that, all right, I am back. Touch the oh, the thing touch. Touch. Oh, oh, ooh, oh, mmm. Jesus Christ! Uh, what the hell? Lewd. I hope that was TOS safe. Jeez. Really should not insert appendages into unknown suckers. Oh, I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. I am a worm and a diggy diggy hole. Okay. Okay. It's easy. It's easy. It's no problem. All the scary stuff is behind us. Nothing else that can chase us now. Um. What? Um. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. Can I help? You won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters of Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Nothing is allowed to die. And it's... What the hell? Um... Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to dis... Oh... Uh... Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hope... I hope you feel better not being tortured anymore. Being forced to live? Question mark. Uh, 
Oh, I don't like. Oh, this door didn't even, didn't even open that door. Oh, fucking probably probably powered those those other doors. Shit. Oh man, I'm just going around fucking everything up, ain't I? It's like the third person I've killed. I was just like, oh jeez, ooh, ah, I'm killing, ooh, I'm killing all these people. Nope, that, do that door's still closed. What the hell? Um... I swear to dog, if this takes me to fucking Lambda. Okay. <laughs> uh, did I just push go? No? Okay. Ah, I gotta sit down, of course. You are here. Get to Lambda. Departing Lambda. I swear, if we fucking run into something in this tunnel on our way to Lambda, don't you fucking do it. Welcome to Pathos 2. Your okay. expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch... <laughs> Omega <the> Space Gun? <laughs> <space probes. laughs> Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station spans multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Okay. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, All right, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea okay. construction. I we are now leaving right. Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. Okay, so Lambda, Lambda, we're gonna get back to the surface. All right, that makes sense. We just gotta ship us off back to Canada and find that not a doctor. No, no, no. Okay. I mean, it still sucked, but it was not as bad as, uh, not as bad as I thought it was about to be. <sighs> Emergency exit. That's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I got this. We got most of the way. We can we can hoof it. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> That'd be awkward. <laughs> okay, we're getting a call. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. 
I no, you can don't worry about that. You're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. I really Catherine? hope this doesn't turn out okay? that Catherine it, wants to harvest my delicious, delicious robo man flesh. Making some sort of robotic, eldritch cocoon. Ooh, a thing to touch. Touch. Don't suck my hand. Don't. Ah, oh, it sucked my hand again. Oh, it's so weird. Uh, hmm. I'm, I'm missing something? Maybe the maintenance hatch is back this way? That looks very hatch. Hatch-like. F turns on flashlight. Noted. But I need a left click to climb. Alright. Give me access. Thank you, Omni Tool. Uh, Here we go again. Into the under the sea something 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 you and me there it goes that's right give me my express express ladder Water. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Simon, it's the fucking ocean. It's 70% of the Earth's surface. At least. Who knows after the apocalypse? I feel like that asteroid it mentioned is like an actual asteroid. Let's see. Maybe even that one that supposedly was a near miss kind of thing. Simon, why are you breathing hard? You don't need to breathe. Ya silly goose. Okay. Oh, Lambda, 350 meters. Alright. Not too far away now. Just uh, keep puffing it. Just keep spraying, just keep spraying. Great. A submarine blocking our path. That's just rude, you know? I'm hearing the glitchy noise. Is there- OH FUCK! OH FUCK! FUCK 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 FUCK! Get out of his way, get out of his way! No 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 no! Fucko. 
Yeah, that's right. Go away. Just sneak around. <sighs> okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. Um, I go around. Is this Lambda? Huh. Ah, this was Okay. You didn't even need to find a, uh, we have to find the little guy to help us. Let's see. Uh, let's find Catherine. Hopefully, she doesn't haunt our dreams and force us to do uh, jumping puzzle games. Like, whoa! No, 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 what the fuck's going on? Don't look at it. Don't look at what? Oh shit, is it a mimetic? What the fuck? Fuck, I don't like it. Stop. Stop! Close the door. Close the door. Where's? How do I? Mm, um, mm, 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 mm. No! 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 I can't see it. He can't see me. I can't see it. Go away! Go away! Go away! Nope! Nope! I'm fine. He can't see me. I nope. Fuck you, Hagler. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <sighs> fucking lightheaded from hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet baby ninja Jesus. Alright, Catherine? Are we going to talk face to face, or are you going to be on a computer screen? Simon, right here. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you wow. to fix me Rude so I can Simon. get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When Ball the Omni tool is loaded, potatoes? just yeah. plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. You know. 
Catherine's pretty chill what about the situation. The tool you're carrying. Plug it into He's the like, computer yeah, over there. I'm a robot. So what? Unfortunately, she is um, lacking some limbs. Just plug it into the terminal. You know, I'd plug it into the terminal if I fucking... Hold on. Sirens. The terminal? Right there. So rude. What have you missed? Um, yeah, so the world ended. Um, I'm apparently a diving suit Simon, with electronic put the bits. Tool into the terminal. I think Catherine's about to become our personal assistant. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? Alright. Let's give this a try. It's basically a USB. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then, suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. <laughs> Ark of <evolved. laughs> uh, Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. All right. All right. This is my called shot. Um... The Ark failed, and everyone here are the degraded remains of the leftover brain scans um, she was able to salvage, um, and her previous self um, didn't want to remember her failure, and so she restored a prior brain scan of herself so she wouldn't remember the Ark failing. All right, let's see how what was close said before you were from Toronto. Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan, and suddenly, here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. All right, can I, can I go now? Can I go check on those files? It's a it's a pretty pretty poppin poppin party Friday evening it seems. Oh, what the fuck's going on? All right, I don't know why the hell I can go in this room. No, not there. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. 
I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Wait, how was that it? Doesn't seem right. Just check oh. the computer. Duh. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. And then there's dinosaurs. Bye. Opinion poll. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. The idea of an arc is interesting. Um, because it's kind of like the the archetypal like generation um, generation ship for traveling to another solar system. But instead, they have them as robots in an artificial world, which in some ways could perhaps avoid some problems insofar as, you know, you need to sustain biological life forms in a pretty much a closed ecosystem, which is difficult. On the other hand, it's not like being a pure robot makes you immune to issues in um, space. So um, a very big, big problem would be um, bit flipping. So um, cosmic rays or cosmic flares from, from stars um, still pass through electronics, especially like if they're in space, they're not gonna have the Earth's magnetosphere to shield them from a lot of the cosmic um, effects that that um, the sun sends out because like even with the magnetosphere um, bit flipping still happens which is basically like uh, an EM wave goes through and it flips a hardware like because you know all, all, all of your hardware is basically ones and zeros and it'll just flip one of those ones to a zero or a zero to a one and like one or two no problem we have error correction usually doesn't is pretty much unnoticeable. Um, I think the most famous one that comes to mind off the top of my head was a Mario 64 speed run where someone's character suddenly jumped up to a completely impossible um, part of the map and no one could figure out the way that happened until a bunch of people were ROM hacking and they found out that if you flipped a specific bit um, between one and zero, um, it would put Mario in that position, and so it's just complete random happenstance that it happened. Uh, but if you're in a spaceship without even the EM shielding, electronics are going to be much more, um, much less reliable and more prone to corruption and damage. Yeah, basically robo cancer. Uh, prequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a prequel to Arc Evolved, you know, that's basically the Earth life cycle. You know, it, it, we go we go dinosaurs, we go humans, we go robots, we go robot dinosaurs, and then I presume we go humans and then back to normal dinosaurs again. I don't know. I'm not a paleontologist. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem. How to actually get this all in there. <laughs> now all we have to do is build the damn thing. And hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not going to be easy. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible, by every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics, beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform. 
which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. So I have we seen that name before? He wasn't the other doctor, because they were there was two of them. We only met one of them that was scanning our brain. Nope, oh, wrong button. Right click. Come on, Tracky. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Ah, it's a whole shit. Lot comfier than this place. Full fucking sword art online, isn't it? Mixed deciduous forest. Actually, this is kind of making me think of mist. Continuous burst. F5. No, nope, F5 didn't do anything. No, 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 no. Hag Hagler, Hagler, nope. No, 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 no. No recursion. We do not have any recursion at this D&D table, all right? We already recursed in Celeste, and we're not going to do it again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. These are these are definitely numbers. These are definitely schematics. Um, this is either IKEA Legos or Lego IKEA. All right. Hopefully, we don't have to build anything. All right. So we got this thingamajig transfers to that of a jig, and then we have Sun Mercury. Okay, so you know with the how to how to get it out. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the art. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? Yo, if this whole thing is just our experience inside the arc that would be trippy as fuck it would be that'd be like three layers be like where the brain inside the arc which thought it was inside this underwater facility which thought it was the quote-unquote real me back in yeah yeah, yeah yeah no recursion allowed but that would be f fucking mind-blowing if, if that happened. Anyway, I definitely feel like an alien inside my own body. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel lost. How would you describe your senses? Um, I feel more sensitive and aware of my surroundings. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's disconcerting. Everything feels constructed. Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human? I mean, this is my actual answer. Um, but I am certainly pretty transhumanist in that thought. Uh, but this, this, Simon? Simon? Simon's answer? Yeah, he's, uh, he's fucking lost his shit. How do you perceive your new existence? Um, arguably, I kind of see, like, all three of these the same thing. Because, like, my, my philosophy is more like being able to experience things in a new perspective and having those experiences, adding those to the body of human consciousness in a, in a broad sense of human, so to speak. Um, Simon has no fucking idea what's going on. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Yes. And Simon's probably like this. Simon's a lot of confused. because he, He's avidly rejecting his reality. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Um... 
Ooh. Ooh. So... Honestly, I think Simon would be no. Because Simon was already going through... Um, it was kind of hinted that Simon had brain damage that was terminal in some way. But he was going through this experimental brain scan thing, which, honestly, like, as far as terminal life things, having your brain scanned, I feel, is a lot more probable of success than cryogenics situations. Um... I feel like Simon um, is not going to accept death. He's freaked out about his situation. He does not like it. But I think he still is afraid of death. He does not want to die regardless of his, um, regardless of his feelings. Yeah, it's certainly interesting that maybe he has like a has the extra tagline. For I want to experience final death. You know, that's I think honestly that's also a huge thing because like I know my opinion of this is I wouldn't have a problem. But there are certainly many people for many reasons um would prefer to accept um oblivion and I think it would be important that we are still capable of that um, even if we solved the issue of mortality and we can live forever I do think that it is important to have the option of cessation of existence just because like at least the mortal mind as I think of it now I don't think it's capable of infinity. There needs to be a finite. Um, either because you want to leave it for progeny or those who come after you. Um, because you believe you have experienced everything you want to believe. Um, whether you have a faith-based reason. Um, I do think the choice to um, allow others to take up the mantle of, of, of humanity um, and culture is an important one. Um, mostly because, like, I, especially if like we're immortal, like, we, we, we've seen um, with capitalism and Earth, like, you can't have infinite growth in a finite system. And I feel like if humans were capable of the infinite, there is a dangerous potential for us to choke off other potential existences, um, whether we intend to or not. And I don't think that would be good. Um, wow, I spent a while philosophizing let's uh let's finish off these questions and then uh, yeah yeah i'm certainly thinking of like altered carbon um so no i feel like there's gonna be 10 questions 10's around oh it's eight questions thank you for participating all right so ads are coming up i am going to kick those off um but i'm not going to progress to make sure nobody misses anything so we will continue in a couple minutes. All right. Those of you who don't have to deal with ads. How's y'all's evening going? I've been a bit of a mixed bag. Um, certainly have not had any trouble fucking pissing my pants. Oh, uh, I, I love Frictional's style of horror. I think they, they do a very good job of balancing, um, when they ratchet up the tension and the way they blend ambiance and music and gameplay. 
Although I would say it's kind of annoying that I can pick items up, but I can't rotate them. But that's just like a super minor thing. Well, surface is dead. Humanity saved onto a USB stick. Yeah, but it's like a very big USB. You know, it's not it's not so much a USB stick. It's more of a USB brick. <laughs> and then we shot it into space. <laughs> it's like the uh, it's like the uh, the the Warforged um, spaceship um, that I that I saw a meme about long back in the day of like uh, you have a bunch of people in a row all ready and action um, to pass to the next person and then the person at the end is a warforged and you have the first person have a bunch of stuff that gives them a bonus to um, escape artist check and then you have each person starting from the beginning use the escape artist check to hide inside the next person and then you have all of them do that into each other and the last person um, hides inside the warforged who then launches into space like a railgun, um, with everyone sort of matryoshka inside themselves. Um, DND is really interesting when you apply selective physics to it. Anyway, welcome back, and let's check out the rest of these. Just the calibration, so let's check where the arc is. I found a tracker homed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Oh shit. Has the arc not even launched? Joke's on you. I don't remember where any of the oceans are. So I think they said Phi was where it launched from. Ooh, so it's not even in Phi. What about Tau? Are we gonna have to move it from Tau to Phi? Let's guess here. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I mean, you're a chip. I mean, just, just, just do that. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay. So we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I mean, we could play Tetris. I've got it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. I mean, isn't she with me always? Jane could talk to me. Hmm. Well, shit. So now we have some kind of mimetic hazard to worry about. Probably that, like, sort of machine, the thing that seems to be, like, infesting things, and it looked like it was converting people into robots as well. I wonder if that's the, like, the, the infomorph um, amalgamation. No, no, no. 
No, 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 Bright, bright light, bright light, bright light, bright light, close the door, close the door, close the door. Okay, let's uh, let's check the other way. Let's check the other way. Let's check the other way. Touch. Please don't eat my hand. Oh, I fisted it again. That's just that's just disgusting. You don't know where that hand's been. Oh, that's right. I have a flashlight. Duh. Alright, that's not too bad. Okay. Alright. Why is it glitching? No! 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 Fuck off! Go away! Go away! Fuck off! You better not- Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna break that. You're gonna fucking break it. Fucking... Fuck. That's how I get outside, isn't it? I have to let it break it. Fuck. That's what I have to do, isn't it? I have to let it break it so I can get back into the ocean. <laughs> Where's something to throw? All right, that didn't work. Chair. Am I wrong? Is that? It's not what, is that not what's going on here? Alright. Well now I look stupid for freaking out over nothing. Well, we can't go up that way. I guess I just have to go out the way I came in? I don't think I can. the dark hallway what do you take what who do you take me for <laughs> someone who's not scared I came from over there, so I should continue this way. <gasps> Little guy! Little guy! Little guy! Yeah! Look at this little guy! Oh. Why is he getting glitchy? You're not betraying me, are you, little guy? Stop glitching. Please. Please.
Time to have a whale of a time. My medic. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Hide in the kelp. Hide in the kelp. Hide in the kelp. Hide in the kelp. They can't hurt you. Can't touch you. Can't touch you. Can't see you. Can't see you. Okay. Okay, I think he's gone. I think it's gone. I am no longer having a whale of a time. Oh, blood gnashes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. New facility? Oh, come Denied. on. Denied. You open everything else. Is it a security clearance thing? Ah, all right. So this is gonna be one that we gotta we gotta find out loophole. Eh? Eh? Nope, not that way. Jumping puzzle this? No. Hmm. And, um... I mean, they did say we have a couple decades, so I think we've got time. It's not like we gotta worry about eating anything. Ha <laughs> ha. Sag. You know what? That's a good point. This is gonna be super awkward if we spend all this effort to get there and it's like, yeah, so that couple decades was like 50 years ago. Uh, I'm missing something off to the side. Can I get a little guy to come with me? Hey, hey, little guy, can you come, come help, come help me? Why is it glitching again? I swear to dog, if the mimetic thing starts coming up, like, frequently now, I'm going to cry. I tried to open this previously. Piece of shit. Uh, huh? what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. All right. All right. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The city it. came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Am I dumb? Could I have gone in here before I walked all the way over there? You know what? Don't tell me. 
I want to. I want to feel like I had to go there and then all the way back. It makes me feel less dumb. Okay. Don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Keep running forward. Don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Nothing can hurt hurt you. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Look at me! Joker! Joker, look at me! I'm the Batman! That's right, grant me that access. Open says me, mother trucker. Barnacles. Oh, never mind. Don't climb over the pipes, just walk around. Oh, okay. Just, uh, just a nice little swim. You know, this is really good exercise because swimming. Swimming was like a full body, you know, you're using like all of your muscles. Hide it down. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> I will scrongle you. Don't think I will. <laughs> I assume I have robo muscles. What was that? What was that? Violin? Violin, go away! What the? Was behind me? What the fuck's going on? What's this? Stop it! No! Ah! Oh shit! Fuck! No 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 back in the hole, back in the hole, back in the hole, back in the hole, go back in the hole, hold it safe, hold it safe, no, let me back in the hole. Oh fuck this game! Fuck! Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Check it out. Check it out. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I saw. I. I heard you yeet me. Don't you fuck always this fucking aftercare? That head pat feels insincere, Hagler. <laughs> First you eat me, then you head back. What is this? Sour Patch? Ah! Aurora, you son of a bitch. Don't you fucking get in on it too. <sighs> I am so fucking happy I've forgotten to find, like, um... Whoa. <coughs> I don't like that. Get zoom tight. There's, um... I keep meaning wow. to put in, like, a... Wow. A, uh, a scary sound effect kind of thing. Because, you know, I have, like, the sad violin sound effect and a couple other sound effects. But there's, like, a specific violin sting that I remember, but I just cannot find it. But instead, I might use, um... Yeah, there's, like, a, there's like a, a scary violin crescendo or pizzicato kind of thing. I can't remember what it is. But... I did find, um, I can't remember what the instrument's called, but it was, like, specifically made for being able to do, like, scary sounds. Um, I believe it was used in the movie Quarantine in particular, because I think they did, like, a live demo of it, of an updated version of it then. And I'm thinking what I might do is I might get that 
and then I will scan through the whole demonstration of it and cut up like multiple quote unquote scary sound effects and then set it to like a random um, because uh, thankfully as I have with my jazz um, I finally figured out how to properly do um, randomization in, um, in C sharp um, as long as I have them all the sound effects in their own folder I can do like grab a random file from this folder and it's taken me a while to figure that out because like I, I'm still learning C sharp and getting random to work properly is kind of annoying there might be a more random way to randomize, but it's hard for me to... All right, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. It's hard for me to know if, like, I'm using bad randomization, because I only have, like, three sound effects. So, like, probability-wise, uh, pretty good odds I can hit the same one, like, two or three times in a row. It's not really that improbable. I'm... Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, stay away, stay away, leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 fuck. Okay, oh uh, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna refill my drink real quick. Um, um, I'm I'm just gonna run. Her, I I just need to take a break real sec.